Hey, and welcome back to the channel. Toby Studio Skills with Toby. It's me, hey. In today's video, we'll want to circle a little bit back to the Lucidity battery box, the 1000 watt, which the video can find up there. And we want to do a little modification to this one because one of the readers, thanks again for highlighting that, one of the readers said, oh, I went ahead and took one of those little friends and replaced it with one which, which was in the LCD battery box. So the reason why he did it, the one in the battery box, they are called power delivery and they do have the USB-C, but also they have the USB-A connection, but they deliver less power. It's probably around 35 watts, I would assume. And with this one, we will be able and capable of delivering up to 65 watts just for one USB-C connection. And the reason for that, if you have, for example, a MacBook, a laptop, notebook, and you have a USB-C cable connection, and you do not want to turn on the inverter, which also needs a little power just to run and will be less efficient. This one will help us to not turn on the inverter, but still charge our notebook if we want to. And that's what we're going to do. It's a very simple modification, and you only need to order the part. That's all. You do not need to mess with any fuses. I double-checked on that part already, and it works pretty well. So I'll show you how it works. I have the box here. Do have the new part, link in the description below as always, so you will find the same part if you want to redo the same stuff. It does come with the unit itself, with the wire and fuses. So what we need, what we need is just this little friend. First things first, we'll start working on the battery box, which means let's turn off the battery. Those lights should be turning off. There we go, done, it's off. Next we need to do, unscrew all those bolts which holding the lid in. Lift the lid, we'll do that after unbolting everything. We can just work like that. We don't even have to disconnect everything, but be careful of touching bolts or anything in here which you don't wanna to touch and don't short anything out. Even though you turn it off, here in this area you see those bolts and everything, you might be able to destroy something. So be careful. So now it's up to you if you want to go for the first one, second one, or the third one. I would not take the third one because that's the 12 volt cigarette lighter. Take one of those. I'm going with the shorter one. There's one thing you have to be careful with. And this one is a little longer, but um, I test already. That's not a problem. We'll be able to fit the connections on it and uh, there's still plenty of space. Close this one. First thing you need to do here, there is So then I try to show you as good as I can. What we need to do, we need to unplug those two and we need to unscrew this part. So if you have a flat half screwdriver, you can maybe push this, this little ring, or you're able and capable of just doing it with your hands. That depends a little bit on how tight they made it. So that means for me, it looks like they didn't make it too tight and I'm able to just take this off completely. And I would recommend go as far back as you can or even completely off. Because now, we take it off. Now we have access to those connections and we can unplug them. And that might be a little more tricky because they might be seated very well. I have to do it from the other side because I'm... Come on, here we go, one, two. I can take this little ring out Pull it out from the front, you can see, boot, that's my finger. So there's one thing you have to pay attention as well. It looks like the negative and the positive wires are going in, I hope I say it correct, in serial. So that means it connects here and then it connects over here and then it connects to the last one. So they're all connected, I hope it's a, I said it correctly, in series. If not, please correct me. And they use the same wire which comes from here from the positive, little bus bar. So we do have, that's what I checked in here, a little fuse at the beginning. When you open this up, you can see there's a fuse in there, which is great. And it's a 30 amp fuse. That's enough because we have 10 amp for here, 10 amp for here and 10 for here. Or one of them can use the entire voltage. So that's the idea behind here. But it should be enough also using it with the new plug this one but also what's different here so the lid is upside down right now so, so we have to install it like this 
First of all, we'll take this little uh, ring off, then we will be able to fit it in. And there's only one way to fit it in, because that's how they cut it already. It's pretty nice. Um, but here on the back, when you look, there's also a little minus and plus, so there's a negative and a positive. And they are opposite from how it was connected prior. So, on to the other plug, so when you connect or put this in, make sure you change the wires back here. So, use black for negative, which is here on this side, red for positive, which is on this side. I hope you can see it. And then connect it. So that means plugging it back in. There we go, one. Plugging this one back in. Two. There we go. Now, screw this one on. There we go. Uh, and now it's just an aligning process on here. So this one, just align it that it looks pretty good and like from a factory if possible. Because you want to be pretty even. You can already go hand tighten it as much as you can back there. You can see it, so I try to tighten it here. Here we have still space. It's not touching anything. This is the wire which connects on this side to the positive. Hope you can see that, right? And then it proceeds to the other unit. But you can also see the difference here in length already. That's, this one is bigger. And that's our 65 watt power delivery USB-C connection. What you can do is already turn this one on. So, And then we can turn on. So let me open this one. So we see here we have power. You see the light up, the light, and then we click on this one, and there's also light, so that's good. So what I was doing, I was comparing this one with this one, and I was using my MacBook to plug it in and see if it charges. And for me, at least, for my MacBook, it's from 2017, this one uh, sometimes doesn't say, does say no charging. It's still on battery when I plug it in here. So it means it's still the MacBook is still running from battery. When I plug this one in, I can see that it's charging and calculating. Now you can plug it in, test it if it works. Make sure you tighten it really good here. You don't want to have it loose and falling around and moving around when you plug something in. If you cannot push or use your hands, use a little flat of screwdriver and push it in here. That's all. Make sure when you uh, took, for example, here this bus bar cover off, put it back on. And make sure that everything is sealed, covered best possible, that there's not an accident touching wire or loose wire or something happening. That is all. I'll turn it off again. Close the lid really quick. There we go. All right. Let me see. Is this automatically on off? It doesn't look too different. Oh yeah, that means this one is not coming back on automatically, but that's not a problem for me at least. I'm fine with that. All righty. That's all the modification. Thanks again to the viewer who highlighted this. Awesome. I love it and thank you so much. As always, if this is something you enjoyed, I would appreciate a like or a subscribe to the channel. Thanks for highlighting those things. Um, please be interactive, put some comments below if you want to see stuff like that, if you have other suggestions you want to see or explained. I like to explore stuff, that's what my channel is about, especially renewable energy, so let me know how you liked it. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Cheers!